going on it's your boy wally aka mr music is my business we live behind the scenes avondale music hall i got the one and only Libra jolie just rocked the stage just rock that motherfucker y'all know what the fuck goddamn going on chicago what's good yeah so i i was gonna ask you right away off i did some research and you're a cancer I am. and what's kind of cool is urban grind we've been on television 15 years mm-hmm. and so it's about 28 seasons and our birthday is June 25th, and yours is June 26th. June 26th. You know, that's my thing. Like, when I see my lucky numbers, it's always 626, which is my birthday. And I'll be like, yeah, God got me. So it's, it's, it's so cool, and it's so good. And I love being a cancer because people think we the most emotional sign there is. But I think emotions come from everything. Like, it's, bitch, I can get mad. I can get sad, I can get glad, I can get happy. So the emotions, they think it stop at, oh, I'm just cry, baby. No, I can cry and whoop your ass at the same time. I'm a Scorpio. I'm on fellow water science, so I feel you. She said, oh, watch out. See, you've been hurt, huh? Uh, bye, Scorpio. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, Scorpios and Cancers like this. You know what I'm saying? They like this. So uh, I fuck with Scorpios. That's it. I ain't gonna say too much. So H-Town's very own, I. The Freestyle EP, it's not something that you hear a lot about. Tell me what was your inspiration behind that? Um, I just, I'm good at freestyles. I just love doing them. Um, I feel like you could be free. I can be free. I can be, uh, I can say whatever I want to say. I don't have to go with the hook. I don't have to go with the title. And that's one thing I like about freestyles. So I just want to like display my talent and I want to keep it consistent. So I use freestyles as to keep consistency until the actual music is presented. Yeah. So tell me, your stage alias, we just said you're a cancer, but the name, where does, what's the origins of the name? Uh, Libra is my real name. L-E-B-R-A, that's my real name. Um, my mama didn't know nothing about horoscope, zodiacs, or nothing like that. She's from Philadelphia, and uh, she had somebody that went to her school, and they had the name Libra. And so she decided to name me that, so that's actually my motherfucking name. Jolie came from me loving the actress Angelina Jolie. So I love her in all of her movies. It's more so badass, taking over. I'm fucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm fucking with it. I'm, 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 I'm hard, I'm, I'm hardcore. So I took that name and added it to mine to represent me, you know, represent who I am, which is, confident aggressive but still sexy still you know what i'm saying still giving it to him so yeah a little feisty a little bit of everything in between so tell me h-town what's the music scene like down there you're up in chicago your first time right uh-huh. what's the music scene in, in uh, music scene in houston uh the music scene is really really dope and it's really good and i think like we don't have enough attention or enough people to put us on and like if you notice like the 
top people that you can name right now, even if it's one person, even if it's two, even if it's three, they all came from Houston. And I think it's not enough eyes on Houston um, to show that. You know, and so I think um, a lot of people should come to Houston or dig into the Houston music scene to see that we really, we the ones that's popping. We the ones that got the sauce. We the ones that got the juice. Undebatable, period. So tell me, what's, how did you start in music? What was something that you were like, I want to be a rapper? How, where did this come from? Um, You're not going to believe it, but I used to fight a lot. And so I used to fight a lot when I was a, a kid. And so because I used to fight, like, I used to make a lot of diss songs. And I used to be like, how you feel, Polisha? I bet your face hurt. Make a lot of diss songs. And uh, that's what started me off. So I, I've been rapping since I was in middle school. But I wasn't just like one of the people saying, oh, since I was in middle school. No, I was actually putting out music. And the music I was putting out was diss songs. And because I was the only person, the only female that was in the hood putting out diss songs at a, such a young and early age, People fucked with me, so I always had like eyes, and I always had a fan base. So, how long have you been in the music business? The music business? So, music business, like what? As far as actually put investing money, studio time, shooting videos, the business side of it. You know, where you really got to put money into this stuff. How long you've been in that? Um, I think I've been putting money into it. I've been rapping for like 20, 20 I would say almost twenty years. I've been investing in music like about 16 years, yeah. What's something that you would tell your younger self? You know, when you just started out and to be where you are now, we're gonna talk about that, the, the big news, but to be where you're here now, considering where you started, if you had to say something to your younger self, what would it be? Um, I wouldn't say anything because I think uh, the thing that kept me going this long is because I had a lot of faith. I've been through a lot of shit and it's a lot of things that broke me that I would have thought that were really broke me, but it didn't. So I did keep going and, I, and and that's where I am today. I followed that path. I followed what I was supposed to follow. So I wouldn't take anything back because I think I believed in myself from day one, you know? So that's why I'm here. I've been through everything you could think of. Um, I've been broke and needed people to do the studio time and got cool with the producers, got cool with the people from the, the engineers and, you know, got in awkward situations to where it's like I had to, you know, make my make sure that I don't fall, fall you know, victim to whatever. So, yeah, I, I think I wouldn't tell my, my old self anything. I would tell my old self, like, bitch, keep going like you've been doing. Yeah. So tonight's the third night, right, of the tour? Second, it's the second night. So. Second night. How's it feel? You got 12 cities, so 10 more. Tell me what you, what you, how you feeling before you step on the stage? I'm always nervous. I'm nervous as fuck. Uh, I'm always scared. And then, like, I, I don't be the whole day. Like, soon as I'm about to step on stage, I get real nervous. I get real scared. My stomach be hurting. My head be hurting. And I be like, oh, my God. And I tell whoever next to me, bitch, I'm scared. And then they always be like, you got this shit, you got this shit. Soon as them boots hit the motherfucking stage, it just goes away. So um, I turn into a whole nother person. And I love it. I love it. I love that for me. So I don't ever let the best get the best of me. Yeah. I was watching the video. The one you shot in the high school. Is it Westmore High School? Nope. It is Wheatley High School. Phil Ward. Y'all know what the fuck got in going on. Yep. Is that your high school that you went to? That is. That's my high school I went to. That's the high school that, like, <laughs> gave me my name. I, my name used to be Gutta Libra. Now it's Libra Jolie. So a transition. But that was the name that gave me my high school. I used to just, I used to be ruthless. How did it feel to come back to your old high school? Recording a music video, not fighting nobody, right? But, but shooting a video and doing something. Like, how did that feel? Um, so I just put like a poster out and I was like, hey, anybody got an auditorium I can use? Auditorium that I can use. And um, they beating the brakes out of this motherfucker. So yeah, I was like, anybody got an auditorium I can use? And they was like, um, yeah, you can use this. Just coincidentally, it was my old high school. You know what I'm saying? So. I felt I felt like it was it was God. That's what I felt like. I felt like it was God because I ran, asked a random question. I didn't expect my old high school to respond and say, "Oh, we got somewhere you can come." And then that's just how it happened. And it brought a lot of old memories back. And um, I think it solidified the whole fucking video because I met my old high school in real life. A lot of these bitches, 
They be saying like, oh, I'm from here, I'm from here, and they don't have nothing to back them. I'm from Houston, I'm really from Fifth Ward, and I got a lot of shit to back me. Me being from Wheatley High School, doing a video at Wheatley High School, it solidified like, yeah, that's where I'm at, that's where I'm from. You made me think about the Ghetto Boys, my homie Killer Mike and stuff, that's my bro, his family of the show. Have you been able to tap in with any of the OGs on the scene yet? Um, I'm cool with the princes. I'm cool with the princes locked in. I can't do it because my ring, but yeah. So um, I'm very cool with them. Um, a lot of people show me love in the city, like Lil Flip, uh, Slim Thug. He showed me love in the city. Uh, Don Key, Kiki. It's a lot of people that do show me love in the city. So I appreciate it and I fuck with it. Even the new people, like Mona Leo, um, I fuck with Ken the Man, etc. How do you go from grinding, hustling, put together music, right? Like the, like the way any artist goes to signing with Interscope Records. Cause a lot of people are gonna wanna know like how does that, like it's, it's no smoke and mirrors. What is it? <laughs> well, I went through a, a difficult time. It was one of my um, biggest L's that I took, which like it, out of all the stuff that I told you and all like the long journey or whatever, that was like the, one of the biggest L's I took was I finally believed in somebody. It's a lot of people that come and tell me like, oh, I'm gonna help you. Oh, like, okay, you, you, I'm buzzing. Okay, boom, I put out something that's viral. People come say they're gonna help me. They say they're gonna whoop the whoop and it don't happen. There's one person I finally believed in him and I think um, when I had to say no and I had to turn my back on it, I think I took the biggest L and I was in like the most fucked up and horrible space that anybody could possibly be. And I went through a deep, big depression for like three months and I shook that shit off. I paid my videographer and I said, hey, I need a package deal. And then I start putting out music. When I start putting out music, I had like eight labels hit me up and I had to choose. And so I ended up going with Interscope because they was with everything that I was with. And I think I'm, I don't think, I'm very grateful that I did choose them. I'm very ha happy. It's, it's like basically like a marriage or a relationship, right? It's got to fit. And you don't want to go with all the, all that glitz and glamour. Yeah. What was it about them that fit? They wanted. They they agreed to everything that I wanted, and I think they have to agree to everything that you want. If they agree to everything that you want, that's where you want to be. But you still have to be skeptical. You still have to like 
have that common sense. You still have to have somebody that love you that's going to, you know, ask those questions. And I think um, right now we live in a world where you can Google everything. So it's hard for you to be in a fucked up deal or a fucked up position because you can you can research shit, you know? So, yeah. You got to educate yourself. Yeah. That's why I went to law school. You want to know what's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm a law school graduate. That's because, I mean, I do the admin side of the music business. Um, I don't practice, but I do a lot of consulting. I do a lot of contract drafting, a lot of business because I notice a lot of people in the music business being, I've been in the business 21 years. So I noticed a lot of people did music, but they didn't know the music business. Right. And I think um, it, it's important to have a lawyer. It's important to have a lawyer that you trust. Um, <laughs> A lot of these lawyers, they know each other and they've been in the business, so they know the they know the people that's in the business. So you just have to have that common sense. You have to be smart. You have to ask questions and you have to search questions and ask other people. You know. So yeah, I'm not in a fucked up deal, by the way. You got a great deal. Yeah. So tell me, um, this is your first multi city tour. This is my first tour. I've never been on tour, and this is my first tour, and. I love it. I love it more than the festivals because I feel like you can be intimate with people. People came to see only a couple of people. You, the co-headliner and the main headliner. So I think you have an advantage versus if they come in to see like 15 people and you don't know which one, you, you you know, where you fit at. So I love it. That is amazing. You know, I'm going to go ahead and say this. Her Libra show is lit, lit, lit. 20 out of 10. She had the whole building up um, like Bars is not just like a beautiful woman as bars. There's a lot of passion and you can rap like yeah. you can really go. You got great select great beat selection. Very impressed. Urban Grind TV is going to put that stamp on it, man. Make sure you tap in with my girl Libra Joe Lee. Now, is there any dream collaborations, any artists or producers you want to work with and from anywhere? Beyonce. I read that in your bio. Beyonce. Yeah, I'm a Beehive member to the fullest. So yeah, I'm from Houston. Of course, I'm a Beehive member. That's the only person. Um, I really, I'm a Beehive member. I'm a Navy member. I'm, I'm a fan of Rihanna. Um, them my two top people on this earth. Um, I think what inspired me to rap was Crime Mob, uh, cause I, of course I was fighting. So, yeah. Diamond and Crime, uh, Diamond from Crime Mob. Um, but I've grown to love me some Nicki Minaj, some Drake, some Lil Wayne. Um, J. Cole, and that's what inspired me to go from beef raps to actual bars. So, yeah. But my dream collaboration is Yonce and motherfucking uh, Rihanna, of course. Hear that, Jay? We gotta, we gotta set it up. We need Beyonce, Riri. We need Riri in the building. Beyonce from Third Ward. I'm from Fifth Ward. Okay. Boom. Is there a collaboration or is there kind of beef, beef in between the different wards in, 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 uh, in Houston? Beef what? Do people get along from the other wards? Um, <laughs> you gotta ask the motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, cause like Chicago, you're like a North Sider, and then yeah, you're like a Cup hey, fan. Look, I can't speak for the motherfuckers. I, I hey, you gotta ask them. Hopefully, it's not. I don't think so, but I can't speak for them, cause I'm not. I'm not there no more. Amazing. So right now we're rocking out with the four, the four track. Uh, freestyle uh, EP, and then uh, I heard a little buzz. Is there any any projects or anything coming out too? It's definitely a project, and I'm so excited for the project. Like I can't even reveal why I'm so excited, but I'm very excited for the project. And um, I think this is something to hold y'all off until the project comes out. But the project is gonna be every fucking thing and more. And then I have another big surprise pending. And even if it don't pin, or it don't woo the woo, I still have something so big, so yeah. I don't know anything, but I'm just feeling like features, features, features. Bigger than features. Yeah. Love it, I love it. So um, thank you again for rocking out with us. Um, if, if there's anything that you wanna tell, like your fans, people at home watching, uh, Riri, all the people, what do you wanna know about Libra Jolie? I want to say thank you to Urban Grind TV for uh, pulling up in Chicago, doing this interview. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my soul. 
And uh, just stay tuned. Stay motherfucking tuned. This tour came authentically, you know, from Bia. Bia hit me up and was like, hey, bitch, I want you on a motherfucking tour. I fuck with her. I love her. She's a real ass bitch. Lakia, a real ass bitch as well. And uh, stay motherfucking tuned, bitch. This ain't the end of us. Period. It's your girl, Libra Jolie. It's your boy, Wally, a.k.a. Mr. Music is my business. Live from Avondale Music Hall. It's... It's a go. Serving grind. Let's get it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Libra Jolie. Follow me on all platforms. I-T-S-L-E-B-R-A-J-O-L-I-E. And I'm over here with Urban Grind TV. Y'all know what the fuck goddamn going on. They pulled up on me at the Really Hurt Tour, behind the scenes, behind the stage, in Chicago. How real is that? They some real motherfuckers. Thank you so much, Urban Grind. I love y'all. I fuck with y'all. Tune in. Y'all know what the fuck goddamn going on. Yeah.